Oh, hey, air signs. It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back with the weekend vibe. So, let's see what's coming in for Aquarius, a Libra, as well as Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the weekend vibes. Okay, y'all, as usual, air signs, people don't like how you are a martyr for your beliefs, how you rather die to conform, okay? It's basically like you are a martyr of saints, all right? Uh, so you realizing that something here is not a strong soul connection. So maybe somebody got with you by doing love spells and you might be realizing now like this is not a strong love connection. Not at all, okay? Or this could be happening to somebody that you're dealing with. They can be realizing that, you know, or somebody that's outside your situation, they could be realizing that they got charmed into a situation because somebody this weekend is really wanting to ghost somebody. <laughs> they haven't ghosted them yet. I feel like they're trying to come up with an excuse because really outside of having some type of epiphany or maybe even doing some release work. Maybe whoever this is, whether it's you or somebody that is in your energy, somebody asked for things to be revealed to them because this is the eclipse, okay? So it's like eclipse out anything that's not meant to be in my life. And now they realizing that something they was invested in was not a soul connection, not a strong soulmate connection, okay? And this may be somebody that like really practiced how to be you. Okay, so that could be the reason why you thought it was a strong soul connection because this person actually was practicing shit. Anything you were saying, anything they saw you saying or heard you saying, it's like they was Googling that shit, learning how to talk like you, everything. And you could have been like, wow, oh my God, such a soul connection. And if you asked last night or if you asked tonight for the truth to be revealed and anybody that's not meant to be in your life, to exit, you could be realizing that this is not a strong soul connection, that somebody literally practiced in a bathroom mirror how to be just like you, how to be what will resemble a soul connection for you. And you may be like, what the hell is this? <laughs> so I'm getting that y'all never want to talk to this person again, but y'all really do not know like what it is. Like y'all really don't know how to tell this person that. Okay. So it's like, I'm trying to avoid ghosting you, but, uh, I don't know. Yeah, okay, and this could be somebody that's bearded, or you could be a bearded king with piercing eyes. Yeah. I'm giving, I'm getting, you could have caught this person giving you evil eye. You could have caught this person giving you evil eye, whether it was in person or y'all was like video chatting or something. So yeah, that's why you don't want to fuck with them no more. Don't answer the phone. You're like, man, I really don't want to talk to you no more. Like, I peeped what you did. I peeped what you did. Like, whatever this person was doing, they was, they did something with their eyes. And it was where you could see it. You might have turned around before this person thought you was going to. All right? You do have exquisite beauty. And maybe this person feel captivated by it. And they want to cap bring you into captivity because of it. My heart is tender towards you. I'm not usually like this. So, yeah, y'all, okay, oh, boy, elemental PQ, uh, could be this person's first, middle, or last initial, or y'all's, the timing was just off, right person, wrong time, okay, you might not know that this person got children, they could have lied about kids that they have, that they didn't tell you they had, they got a job that's coming to an end, okay? Or some of you guys do. Let's see. Why is job coming to an end here? Twin flame. Shit, a job coming to an end because this person... The <laughs> spirit is funny. <gasps> the job was acting like your twin flame and that shit coming to an end. You're like, you're fired. You're not my freaking twin flame. What are you talking about? Oh, why did Twin Flame come out, oh, Lord? Or it tried to, hell. Oh, this person may not even be straight. So I don't know what they even acting for. Because it's not like they really looking for a connection for you, with you. Why is job coming to an end here? For some of you, that's the case. For others of you, they have children that you don't even know about. 
okay? In one or three days, y'all might stop talking to this person before the weekend. Y'all might not ever answer the phone for them again. Because I'm getting, don't answer the phone. Never again. What? <laughs> y'all, what the fuck? <laughs> y'all leave, y'all icing somebody like this? Don't answer the phone. Never again. Wow. Ooh, even though it will be ever again because that's a double negative, but whatever. This ain't English class. Damn. Uh, oh my God. This person might have a low key freaking powder addiction. So if they always broke, no matter how much they worked, that's why. Okay. And if you always hearing this person sick or sniffling or something like that, that's why. Okay. You guys may be a life path master number. Okay, 11, 22, 33, 44. Yeah, this person is addicted to your love, tenderness, and inner power. But the tenderness is about to be not so tender. Okay? Because, again, stepmother's in reverse. Just, the timing is just off, right person, wrong time. So, once again, this could be another thing. I'm telling you, when spirit don't want somebody with us, things can be going well. And all of a sudden, a monkey wrench get thrown into the shit. Because for some of you... This whole stepmother situation is a hope and a dream for this person. It's in reverse, first of all, because said kids or kid on the way you don't even know about. Okay? And this person could be just blatantly not telling you. I'm pretty sure you asked. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not saying you asked this person did they have somebody else pregnant, but I'm pretty sure you asked this person when y'all first met if they had kids. You know? And it seemed to me like this might have been something that happened towards the beginning of y'all relationship, okay? Or whatever, even during y'all relationship, even a fucking week ago, I don't care. But whatever it is, it's the universe because they trying to let you know that this person is just acting like somebody that they're not. And I feel like they heavily try to project that onto you um, using the power of suggestion. Maybe even always suggesting that y'all have this super strong soul connection and you like, I really don't feel that. But you could have been going with the flow because this person literally, this person might have like stood back, like like basically withheld, like uh, actually pursuing you until they knew a lot about you, and they could have just been coming up out coming coming up on the scene, acting like it was just a coincidence that you guys are interested in the same thing. The more you get to know this person, the more you see they don't know shit about what you know at all. This person be in complete oblivion. And you be like, how did you even pull off that we was closer than what we are? So you, yeah, this person might, this this might send this person into the dark night of the soul. Okay. Y'all, y'all, I'm telling you, fixated. This person actually could have been watching you for a very long time before they came for it. And it was just, I, I guess, whatever they thought they knew, they thought it can sustain them for a long period of time. It can't. So this might be just a couple months, y'all. Y'all might be a couple months in. Who, y'all? This something else. Okay, let's see why. What? Let's see why piercing eyes is here. I feel like they be trying to project something to you when they in person or on the phone. But again, this would be more like a video chat. Why is piercing eyes here? Why is piercing eyes here? I ain't gonna lie. Somebody could have hired them to do this. Somebody could have hired this person to distract you, act like they meant for you, your twin flame, whatever. And they could be getting fired because maybe it's coming up in the energy that you not falling for this shit no more. That you really on a precipice of fucking ghosting this person. Like, it's itching. It's itching. You itching for the ghosting. Like, you really itching to ghost this motherfucker. Like, I'm not playing, y'all. I feel it all in my energy. I could be talking to Aquariuses when I say that because, honestly speaking, we notorious for freaking ghosting people when we not interested anymore. You know, especially when people doing stuff like they know what they doing. It's like, so why even address it? Like, why do you confront this person about lying? About knowing or liking or being interested in the same things you interested in and having knowledge in the same areas of life that you have knowledge in or that you will versed in like playing off of that being something rare to you and and basically like weaseling their way into your life by acting like something that they not 
You get what I'm saying? And y'all may be grasping this and y'all like, what the fuck I got to confront this person for? But in reality, that may be an attribute of you that you're trying to change. But this could be any of y'all air signs, okay? Because I don't know, Libra. I, Libra and Gemini, I don't know about y'all ghosting people, but I know that Aquarius is notorious for that. And see, that's the thing. It's like family is involved now. So it's like y'all family might like each other. Or like your family might like this person. And they family might like you. Why is job coming to an end? No, matter of fact, why is piercing eyes here? Mm -mm. Yeah. Uh, chivalry is dead. Chivalry isn't dead. It's in reverse. So, chivalry is dead. I feel like whatever this person trying to project onto you is to get you to, like, basically help them, I guess. Trying to gain a deeper understanding of yourself before expecting others to. Okay? That's what they need to do. Instead of them just studying you and regurgitating things that you say. So you can be like, oh my God, are you serious? I say the same thing. Whoa, we must be twin flames. Like, I'm sorry, y'all. This person is tripping. Strong soul connection in reverse. I'm telling y'all, I feel like y'all having this epiphany because y'all asking y'all ancestors to remove what is deceptive in your life. Okay, what is not for you. Three to six weeks. Some of y'all, y'all been feeling this divide for the past three weeks. Okay. A hot date. Son-in-law. Blonde. Lesbian. Fake account. Okay, a hot date with a blonde. Let's see what's going on, because I'm telling you, I think this is that stepmom energy. I'm not going to lie. I feel like this person did something behind y'all back. That person may also be into women, okay? So if you the woman I'm talking to, this masculine could have had a hot date with a blonde person, a person that has blonde hair. Rather they Caucasian or they have hair is dyed or they wear blonde wig and this person is a Jezebel spirit. So y'all may sense that this person got a Jezebel spirit on them now. Especially if they slept with somebody. I told you this person be using words of affirmation and I feel like they be evil eyeing you too. I really do. Oh my God, air signs. Now I'm going to have to fuse this together. Oh my goodness. No longer holding the torch. <laughs> Whoever this is, it's like y'all got good luck, fortune, pros prosperity, and protection. So, I'm telling you, this person might have hooked up with like a Jezebel spirited person. And you can feel that energy off of them now. Something shifted with this person. Yeah, with somebody that's low vibe. Yeah. Oh, boy. So, what happened on this? What happened on this hot date? Two years. Yeah, this person got to tell you something. I feel like they have to admit the truth or y'all could have did some type of, um, again, I picked this up before, some type of truth spell, then a shut up spell as well. But with this person, it may not be a shut up spell because you may be just finding out that this person is lying to you about stuff. Okay. They could have went on some date with somebody that they met like two years ago, you know, and like I said, stepmom is here in reverse because it's wishful thinking that this person think that they can get somebody else pregnant and still be with you, okay? They, this person may be pregnant with a son for them, okay? All right. Do your research. Read a book. That's what they need to do instead of just trying to copy your energy or listen to what you say and just say it back to you and you just be like, wow, oh, my God. Yeah, this person is dreaming about having a dream home. Why is don't answer the phone? Spirit does not approve. Wow. So spirit does not approve. Yeah, somebody's spinning a block. 
and this person make you, you know, they have you have red flags for this person. This person may have recently cut some braids or locks off their hair. This is somebody that didn't support you in the past and their chakras are all misaligned. This person blame you for something. They might blame you for their chakras being misaligned, but this person really got daddy issues, okay? Okay, so it's multiple people showing up in your energy because I'm seeing something here. What? yeah, y'all not ever answering the phone for this person again. Why is Bearded King here? Because it's giving me that this person with dress or locks is separate from this person. Separate from this Bearded King energy. Why is Bearded King here? Beautiful features. Seductive. Sex worker. So this could be the one that had the date with the uh, Jezebel spirit. Lump sum of money coming. Separation. Yeah. Energy vampire in reverse. Okay. This person could be energy vampire. They know you got a lump sum of money coming in. They trying to suck you with that energy. They trying to switch that out. They want to have a lump sum of money coming in. Okay, you are finally being recognized for your hard work and career advancements. Y'all, because you pulled out your darkest feelings during the shadow moon or during the sh doing shadow work. During a black moon, you pulled out your darkest feelings and did shadow work. So y'all could have realized, or again, this could be this eclipse where you guys are pulling out all your darkest energies. Like, you know, I want to release procrastination. You know, a lack of self-worth, da 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 yada, yada, yada. Why is stepmother here in reverse? But y'all, y'all are pulling out y'all darkest energies. Y'all admitting to y'all self the things that y'all feel like y'all can change so that it, it can come to fruition. Y'all can release blockages. So y'all not just releasing people. I feel like y'all releasing negative habits of your own. Stepmother energy in reverse. Oh, boy. Mm -mm. Well, this person kind of came in sabotaging the connection because they know that this person was taken. They know that this person not a leader, okay? So the person that's a bearded person, they're not a leader for real. They, I feel like this is the type of person that can just, you know, get dragged in the room by their tie. Like, come on, we about, to, we about to tear these sheets up, you know, whatever. I don't know. Well, yeah, whoever this is, it's like, oh, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? And they did this shit by the water, so they probably had, was like on the beach. Okay, or something like that. All right, so I want to know why, like, daughter-in-law and son-in-law is here. Why is that here? Daughter and son-in-law. Because this could be somebody you was planning to marry. Okay, or like I said, this could just be kind of it. Like, you know, y'all parents saying this to y'all. Daughter-in-law, son-in-law. Why is that coming out? Uh-oh. Making memories. Passing on to the spiritual realm is in reverse. So a death ritual might backfire or return to sender in one of three weeks. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Somebody has yet to face some type of self-realization, a pattern. And the things that they do. Okay. Yeah, why sabotage here? This person is counting the days so they see you again. But I feel like y'all just falling out of love with this person. Yeah, this person with blonde hair definitely sabotaged a new connection for you. I feel like somebody coming back, but you ain't taking them back either. Yeah, this person with color hair sabotaged a new love between you and your person. And they a snake princess. Okay. I'm seeing aggravated assault happen here. Damn. I want to N-U-T and you in reverse. So this person basically asked the person that you most currently dating to, like, shoot the club up. She addicted to his energy, but she a karmic soulmate. Okay? So this is somebody that they probably met before you. All right, so yeah, it's like they don't feel triggered by this person like they feel triggered by you. They like, if only you would let your guard down towards them, maybe they wouldn't have went towards this person, but shit. My thing is, mm, dimple. This person with blonde hair might have dimples and be dark skin. 
dimples, dark skin with a blonde wig or blonde hair. Blonde tips, ombre, Caribbean man, a woman, pregnant in reverse. So they could be lying about a pregnancy. Okay, they got together at an event, gathering a party. Prince could have been playing that night, okay, because I'm getting diamonds and pearls. This person might be dusty. They could have been looking their best that night, though, all right? So it's clear to say and update your vision board because you could have been planning a future with somebody that you're about to find out uh, that got tangled up with a snake princess. And you might have to let them fight their own battles with that one, love. Because you are, like, again, you a martyr to your beliefs. Like, whatever this is, it's like somebody's willing to do things that y'all not. So, it's like somebody might be willing to degrade themselves. And this person may feel like you go too hard for God or you go too hard for your divinity or whatever. So, it's like they kind of, you know, took a night of, of uh, spontaneity to the next level. And they really got seduced by somebody. That know how to move their body like a snake, ma. <laughs> wow. With a dimple and a blonde wig. Okay. All right. Let's get a little squig of Watts here. All right, y'all. Let's see. What else? All right. Let's make sure. All right. What else coming in for air signs? Aquarius, Libra, as well as Gemini. Coming in for Aquarius, Libra, Gemini this weekend for the weekend vibes. Sacred temple. And that may be the reason why y'all end up dumping this person. Because y'all take y'all temple seriously. Y'all see, see sex as a sacred act. And that may be the thing that throw y'all off. Because this person might talk about all of that. Like if y'all talk about all that, they came into the picture talking, to, talking about all of that. Making it seem like they know they worth. They don't just put they at anybody or open their legs to anybody or whatever. And the truth of the matter is this person don't honor their temple as much as you do. Now, you may be sensing through your intuition, discernment, dreams, ancestral communication, meditation. You know, or like I said, just moving with the universe that this person definitely... Uh, came with some type of like they got together with some jazabel spirit they had some hot date behind your back got with this person and they left their energy with this person if you know what i mean they left their energy within this person okay so this person may not be knowing if they're pregnant or not or they may even lie about a pregnancy just to sabotage this connection but this person basically fell for the bait so instead of them having an the opportunity to go back and forth between you and this person they're gonna they going a choice is gonna be made for them. Y'all not gonna let this person come back and forth. Y'all, it's like again, y'all, y'all real sacred when it comes down to y'all energy. And if this person is mixing and mingling with reptilians, then it's like, mm, don't think that this is a strong soul connection. Cause I feel like if it was, you would have known that was the wrong thing to do. Let's see. Yeah, so this person head was in a cloud or they could have smoked weed or something. Something happened to where this person head was in the clouds, okay? A professional assistance. Let's see. For professional assistance, I'm honestly getting a freaking practitioner, okay? We gonna see what that is, but I'm honestly getting a practitioner. For some of you, you were supposed to be some type of catalyst to the dark night of the soul for this person. And you might be. 
when y'all turn around and walk away from this person, they might actually lose their shit because they thought they had a future with you. They thought they knew just enough information to get them, like, permanently locked in with you. And y'all behind the mask, somebody mask being ripped off because this was in reverse at the bottom of the deck. This is the reason why you're not going back and forth anymore as to if you should go somebody or leave them alone. Okay, some of you guys may go to a reader to ask, okay? Maybe y'all went to a reader and y'all found out, like, damn, okay, so it wasn't just a dream. It wasn't just a, you know, meditation download. It wasn't just this or that. It was the truth because y'all could be asking somebody else and they picking up the same thing you're picking up on, okay? The Ascended Masters definitely... <laughs> <laughs> the Ascended Masters rose, okay? They they rose, like, okay, hold up. Stop. Wait a minute, because somebody here is not telling the truth, you know? And y'all been at, yeah, it's like knowing this and letting this go, okay, is going to cause you to go to some type of increase. You making it to the next level. Because maybe in the past, you would have continued to deny your intuition, you know, you would have stayed and overthought about it, but you don't feel optimistic about this connection for a reason. And you may be trying to convince yourself to because maybe you feel like, huh, maybe it's just me. No, it's not. It really is something going on with this person and they they behind the mask. They lying to you about who they are. Again, false to inflame energy. This is not a kindred partnership. They lied. They stay fixated on you. Either somebody hired them to. That can also be what professional assistance is. Somebody may be a professional catfisher, okay? It's like they know what to do. They take a good three to six months to just sit and stalk you and be fixated on you. So they can learn everything you like and do not like in a partner. And they can try to mimic or mirror that. But that facade can only last so long. And any connection... So, I feel like y'all finding out. Y'all finding out because the Ascended Masters is like, no, we're not going to let you waste your time and invest in something that's literal cornbread with icing. This shit ain't cake. Ain't nothing wrong with cornbread, but I don't know. <laughs> I think somebody would be pretty upset if they got like a two-tiered <laughs> uh, sheet cake that's really cornbread. It's like, hold up, I ain't paid for cornbread. I ain't paid for soul food with icing on it. Okay, so, I mean, and I said it like that. Soul food is great and all, but whoever this is, they presented themselves as completely different. And if you was going to date somebody like them, then let it be because you know that they like that. Let it be because you know that they have kid, had a kid, got a kid, or created a kid while y'all was in the courting process. Like, this person needs to be real with themselves and you. Yeah, this child might end up being a Pisces. And let's see. We in the month of May right now. June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February. End of February is Pisces season. So, this child might be a Pisces, a male Pisces, because we did get sun, okay? This person definitely do want to apologize to you or whatever the case is. Are you just noticing that this is just puppy love or fixation? That's how you're looking at it. For those of you where it's not true that this person was hired, because for some of you, this person was sent in as a distraction. Somebody actually paid them. But for others of you, this person just too immature. Like they too saturated in the emotional connectivity and something that's like that y'all lacking the the like connectivity in other areas, okay? Like so maybe you need mental stimulation and this person not stimulating you because they pretended to know the things that they said they knew. <laughs> they really didn't, you know? So they can't have a deep and in intellectual conversation with you because the things that, you know, it was surface based. Book knowledge, text knowledge, not really depth and experience. Like, I experienced this and that. Y'all could be furious about this. I'm telling you, they got a queen of wands in reverse, pregnant. Y'all, I'm telling you, this person is super, yeah, they was drunk. Somebody was highly inebriated, and that's the truth. Ace of Swords, y'all got clarity. So, for those of you that know, you know. This ain't, like, this would be... This would literally be a confirmation to a dream, a meditation, something like that. This would not be a complete shock and surprise if it's for you, okay? So with the Ace of Swords, this is the truth. You got clarity on this. If this is something you already been thinking, you seeing a bigger picture here, you not looking at this like before, this situation might have happened to you when you looked at it as being rejected. 
looked at somebody as choosing somebody else. In this situation, this person missed the opportunity with you because they open back up communication to somebody that's basically that hold a very low vibe. And they did something very impulsive on some quickie shit. They let, some, they let a quickie in something. But it's good for you because this person wasn't for you. So even though it might be bad news for this person, it's good news for you. Yet yeah, it's true that this person betrayed you. Okay, Ace of Swords and the Ten of Swords. It's true that this person betrayed you. It's true that this is a double-edged sword because it seems to me like they're going to be the ones that's down on their knees. Like, damn. I really missed the opportunity. I just had to reopen communication with this mother. This person could be a Sagittarius Capricorn cusp. So their birthday could be like middle of December or right before Christmas. Yeah. Somebody was like, take a chance, yellow. This person just went for it. Like I said, they ain't giving very much leadership vibes like they made it seem. Okay? They giving very much like anybody can pull me into a damn janitor's closet and get this D and toss me to the side like a used rag. Yeah. This person feel like they missed the opportunity to use you. <laughs> Ooh. Or they missed the opportunity to make it up to you, one or the other. Let's see, why is the Six of Pentacles in reverse? Mm-hmm, Nine of Pentacles, they missed the opportunity to use you. You and the Nine of Pentacles and this person is mad as hell because they ain't get shit out of you, Queen of Swords, because you cut that ass off. You cut them off. You cut them off, cut them off, cut them off, cut them off, cut them off. Yeah, because this person did, this person repeated something, like something is a repeat pattern here. So again, if you keep getting in new relationships and that person within months of y'all dating is getting somebody from their past pregnant, this is repeating. This is a repeat thing. Yeah, this person do want to apologize and move forward with you. It's better waiting ahead. Yeah, because y'all could be tired of these cycles. You see how she got her head <laughs> and the universe like keep going. Uh -huh. Like just keep going. You get ready to reach success. Now that you... Removing the bullshit out the way because the bullshit is definitely clouding your vision and taking up space that it don't deserve to take up. Okay, y'all? So, yeah, somebody is really unhappy here because they're not satisfied with the outcome of the situation. They wish that they didn't drunk text their ex. And as soon as this person said something, this person didn't hesitate. It was no hesitation. Yeah, Queen of Cups in reverse because they realized that this turned your emotions off to them. Y'all, you ain't even hurt. It's kind of like, I'm here in Sade. Somebody already broke my heart. So, y'all already faced this type of issue with somebody that y'all cared about more. Yeah, I'm telling you. This person could have been trying to collaborate with you, work with you, or get you to lose some type of job. Y'all moving forward, okay? I feel like in a distant horizon... Y'all got somebody that y'all got a soulmate connection with that y'all meant to go into business partnership with. All right, that's what y'all looking for. Y'all looking for collaboration and cohesive effort from you and your partners. And you realizing that this person have a poverty mindset or they going to be in poverty. Especially if this person is a, is a practitioner on a low vibe end. Yeah, something that they do this moon phase is not going to work. Because if they was like trying to get some stability from you or move in with you or get a marriage out of you it's not gonna work you're about to abandon this situation and this person might be getting ready to be homeless oh my god they could have did some work to like keep a home or like extend some type of eviction and they might be getting evicted this weekend y'all so if they trying to kiss ass that might be why Cause they done good, they done linked with somebody that done gave them bad luck. They might be about to lose their job too. Or at the very least, some spell work that they do this weekend and not gonna work to help them keep their place. They're gonna be out in the cold. Wow. This person shouldn't have lied to you like that. And this is karma. This is karma. Yeah. God is looking at them like, how dare you pretend that this was ordained by me? Y'all, your magic is stronger or your manifestation skills are stronger than whoever this 
person that is not a twin flame to you is. Y'all, so y'all gonna be avoiding this person this weekend. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe. And I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.